early Sunday morning The sun is coming up I'm on the tee at seven I'm here to try my luck They say this game's a tough one But I'll give it my best shot Though the bunkers look like beaches And the greens like parking lots Hey, YouTube, Part another here How you all doing? Remember when, uh, back in the day uh, when someone just sent you something just because hey, they wanted to send you something. Well, shit, that's happened. Uh, so I've got an old fashioned yabo. Uh, firstly, smoking my mirror with some Middle Earth's Old Toby. Uh, it's uh, Virginia. And yeah, that'll get a quick review at some time. Uh, the package I got, uh, many or some of you will know of Heisenberg 067. Uh, heck of a guy. And um, I recently uh, caught up with him and a bunch of his cohorts on Voxer and uh, getting to know them and uh, they're, they're good old boys. Uh, I enjoy their company a lot. Uh, it's uh, the whole reason why I stick around in the uh, YTPC. Um, yeah, you know, to meet the next, you know, you know, friend, uh, yeah, it's just good to mix it up. So, as I said, got a package from Mr. Berg, and, uh, I know, know what's in here, uh, wasn't a great mystery, uh, he told me it was coming, and, uh, we were talking about, um, old pipes. Um, you know, and uh, said I out of all the pipes that I have, um, I don't have a custom built. Uh, that's something you know that's always been on the want list, but never quite gotten there. And because uh, I'm into you know the old pipes, cable woodies, grabos, medicos, and all that sort of thing. So uh, uh, he uh, had a a K woody, sorry not a K woody, a um, uh, custom built, and uh, said uh, it needs a home and it needs refurbishment, and uh, he wanted to see what I could do with it. So. Uh, so here it is. Um, we got a note, a bro note, a mate note. The room note says, uh, "Here's the custom built we discussed on Voxer. It is. Oh boy, did you write this? This might get some editing. Um." Uh, it has a few minor problems, but with your talents in the wood finishing department, uh, it should make a nice addition to your pipe collection. Uh, it adds, it adds something, uh, I, I, oh, sorry, I added some Tilbury. Uh, you've never tried this esoterical blend. Uh, very happy that, uh, I was able to send it to you. Uh, thanks for being a good friend, Berg. Keep on chooching. Uh, P.S. I sent you a tamper that I made from a 10 point buck. Um, it was the last deer uh, harvested two years ago. Uh, I think you're the eighth person to receive one in the YTPC. Uh, not much, just a token of friendship. Oh shit. Any token of friendship is a good token, so that's very, very cool. Uh, yeah, he's right. I've never tried esoteric Tilbury. Uh, I've only tried the main ones, um, you know, such as the um, you know, Penzance and, uh, and uh, Stonehaven, which sucks. Uh, I've also got a tin of Margate up here, but I've just not cracked it, so uh, I didn't see the need to. Uh, so here's the antler tampon. Very cool. I did have a antler tamper that I, uh, I got in Chicago, but uh, it ended up going to Alex George. So, uh, very cool. I'll be giving that one away. Uh, there's a knife. For all you knife buffs out there, the Victorian Ox. Esoterica Tilbury. 
I've got high hopes. Smells all right. Uh, it's like almost like a fine shag. It smells rather nice, actually. Get out of my moo. Thank you very much for that, Ty. That's awesome. It's something else I can cross off the bucket list. You ever notice when you're doing a video and you feel like you gotta get your pipe lit and all that sort of thing and it feels like a rush and yet you watch someone like matches 860 and he just sits back and casually puffs away and never goes out I'm just like one of these days I'll learn to do that okay oh day. Apart from um, the stem and a bit of a tidy up, it looks all right. I think it's got some sort of lacquer or shellac all over it or something like that. So, if someone is knowledgeable about custom builds, let me know if they come out of the factory all shiny and whatnot like that. Um, all the custom builds I've ever seen on uh, eBay have been um, all dull and, and uh, you know, in pretty bad condition I've not seen a good one yet until someone's actually gone to the trouble of restoring it so uh, uh, well the shank the stem definitely ain't loose <laughs> um, yeah that should clean up pretty good take some sanding but it'll clean up that's cool as hell Berg that is fantastic that is something else I can now add to the collection um that is really cool um i know whether i'll do a video showing cleaning it up but i'll uh definitely present it once it's uh once it is in a smokable condition again so that's that's awesome anytime you get a, a, a new pipe is, a, is is cool but you know to get a, a pipe from a friend that's that's even better um I'm chuffed, royally chuffed. Thank you very much. Um, that's just, wow. Berg, you're a legend. Thank you very much, man. And uh, I think I've said it, thank you about five or six times now. But uh, thank you again. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I'm gonna get back into the shop and uh, keep on working. I've got a few little projects going on. And uh, apart from that, it's the same old, same old around here. Um, usual shenanigans. Um, so uh, nothing amazing. Um, if you uh, have been watching the quick reviews, take them with a grain of salt. It started off as being a bit of a laugh and I did a few more and it's like, hey, I like doing these. These are cool. These are, you know, the way tobacco reviews should be. If you just want to know whether someone likes it or dislikes it, uh, it's, um, you know, not anything in depth. Uh, so uh, yeah take it as they come um they're just meant to be a little bit of fun so um, anyway appreciate you guys watching take care now keep yeah. your head behind the ball and look out for those trees oh lord what club should i choose